There's an accident on 347, what do I do? All right, friends, my name is Sean Leonard. I am with Housing Around AZ, powered by King and Sky Realty. I am a local real estate agent. I've lived in Maricopa for over 16 years. So I'm gonna give you a few kind of uh, ideas of how to get around some accidents uh, on the 347. So first off, it really depends on where on the 347 the accident is. So if it's like at Riggs, Casablanca is usually a good choice to go around. It does run straight into the 10. I would say be careful with the fact that it is, that there is a school zone on it. So follow the laws, it goes down to 15 miles an hour, make sure you're following the speed limit and, and uh, don't be a nuisance in those areas. So that's the first option if uh, the accident's at Rakes. If the accident is maybe at Casablanca and you're coming in, uh, going out of town, you might be able to cut around and go to Riggs or, or coming into town, you might be able to cut off one of those uh, areas. Um, so Riggs is another option depending on where the accident is. Uh, again, Riggs hits right into the 10. Uh, so it is another option to go around. Of course, you will have the other option of, uh, you know, coming off the, uh, the Queen Creek Road exit. Uh, and then you also have past the casino um, and the Wild Horse Pass over by those. Uh, there is that road that comes in on the curb. That's another way to get onto the 347, depending on where the accident's at. Now, if the accident is coming right into town and it's right at the beginning of town, the other option is going to Casa Grande. Uh, there are a couple exits off of the 10 in, uh, in Casa Grande. You can come back down Casa Grande Highway. Uh, so that really gives you the ability to come into the backside of town and be able to get home that way. So there are several different options. Um, the one I would advise against is taking any of the dirt roads to the reservation. Um, there, if you look online, there are de several different descriptions of <laughs> how that is legal or not. So I would not advise doing that. Um, I would stay, uh, if you're going through any reservation stuff, stay on paved roads. Um, but yeah, the, the best bets are just trying to look ahead, find out where the accident's at, and then making your choices on, okay, where do I get off the 347 at to go around the accident? Well, again, friends, my name is Sean Leonard. I am a local real estate agent. So if you know anybody looking to buy or sell a house, please let me know. I'm here to help you. Uh, uh, my information is down below. Have an awesome day. And please don't be one of the people involved in the accidents.